Good morning. I'm Dr. Yiming Huang, the assistant professor of the Department of Civil Engineering from the Fengjia University. Today, I would like to share with you about the subject of the 3D printing and the project our students have done. My presentation today will start with a quick background introduction about 3D printing, including the topics I'm working on about the smart construction. Then I will show you the products of our students have made for 3D printing application for smart construction. Here is my background and your research specialties. And please feel free to contact me if you have any comments or questions after my presentation. Let's start with this video. This is the video about 3D printing used for building a house on site. As you can see from the video, the specialty, a specially designed 3D printing machine was used for constructing the house using the technique called additive manufacturing. The material used for this case was normal concrete and the house was finished within one day. After the final touch of the painting and putting on the furniture, a one floor lovely small house was built and ready to move in. The previous video demonstrates the capability of 3D printing in building houses. These photos on this slide shows another example using the 3D printing house, which was set as a basic module that you can order at home. The additive manufacturing was applied in these examples. This is a kiosk or a bus stop like space that was built on site with 3D printing technology. As you can see from the figure here, a spatial design was made to improve the strength of the building by adding specific, specific patterns during the process of additive manufacturing. <coughs> Sorry. All the previous examples show one important aspect of the 3D printing, the capability of the construction on site with customized design. These is applications encourage us to think about the possibility of developing smart construction in the near future. Today, I will focus on the 3D printing applications and show you some results we have made about the subject. In my department, there are several interesting research topics we want to study in the fields of the robotic solution, AIoT, and automation. Among them, the 3D printing is the first and ongoing research topic in our research group. What we want to achieve about the smart construction? First, we try to find solutions to combine the technology of AI and the robotics. The major goal is to improve current traditional construction process by introducing new material, 3D printing machines, and the new design procedure. Also, we focus on how to apply the sensors to help us in field monitoring, conducting the architectural health check, and fulfilling the needs of the customers. What we need to develop, develop smart construction one major and the most important reason is that we expect we will be lack of labors in the near future. Therefore, we have to improve our traditional working process about the construction by using new methods and new technology to help us. We hope that we can use less labors to finish more works and achieve the goal of the low impact constructions. So how we can achieve the goal? We can develop the new material, we can improve the current concrete, and also we can invent innovative material. Another one is we can use in the large scale 3D printing on the site, and also we can develop several construction elements to help us on the field work and uh, on the field workings. And sensors was also another tool that we can apply in the future constructions. Now let's take a look about the application of 3D printing. We can apply 3D printing in two ways, precasting and the cast in place. This slide shows you the examples of the cast in place printing. You need to design the house space first and then set up a 3D printing machine that can fit the building requirements, then applying the additive manufacturing to finish the job. Furthermore, we can build not just one floor house, we can construct higher 
buildings by repeating the process floor by floor. As you can see from the slide, we need to design a spatial working machine and enough space for the 3D printing at higher floors. However, insufficient working space and the safety issues may be a may bigger concern during the construction. Therefore, cast in place process is possible, but it's not very suitable when given different construction environment and the building needs. Another option of the 3D printing is precasting process. The example shown on this slide is an example of the precasting. The bridge was built on site by combining several precast elements together. A simple bridge for bicycling and pedestrians was made directly from the precast blocks using the 3D printer. Here shows the advanced idea of precasting by introducing room module. The example was a 10-story hustle in Singapore, and the hustle was built room by room. The room was simply finished somewhere else and put together on site. This is a great example to show the benefits of precasting with the use of a 3D printer. We can design various room modules and put them together one by one on the site, even making a high-rising building is possible. Precasting with a 3D printing technology can easily make a customized pattern if necessary. The photo shows a bridge with a spatial design patterns to blend in the park environment and fulfill the safety requirements at the same time. The 3D printing makes a significant process in construction in terms of balancing the aesthetic, artistic design and the safety requirement. Both options of the precasting and casting place are available for 3D printing in construction. However, with the concerns of the spatial needs and the designs regarding 3D printing machines, precasting process is the main trend of the 3D printing in construction fields. Small steps lead to big change. Our department encourages students to think about the possibility of applying applying 3D uh, printing in traditional construction and civil engineering. With the idea of the precasting, the traditional construction process, like the formworks, may need to be improved or adopt new methods to build the structure. To evaluate the ideas of 3D printing, small-scale models are preferred before conducting a full-scale construction in the factory. In the following slides, I will show you the outcomes of a small project from our students. In the practice, software of the SketchUp and Cura were used to design the models. A 3D printing printer was used, which can produce the model as high as 120 centimeters. Students have learned how to operate a 3D printer and design the models using the compatible software. The first component students try to uh, model is the column. Columns are important structural element in buildings and is one basic type in civil engineering. Here, the method of the combination was adopted to design one column. The column was divided into three parts and the final product was a column of 30 centimeters in height. Another approach of a con combining components was using four pieces to construct a column shape. As shown in the slide, the design of the connection was different to the previous example. Then the compressive strength of the model columns were tested by filling the column with cement. The purpose of the test is to check the compressive strength and the test results will be used as the basis of the strength study. This slide shows the results of the compression test and the outlooks of the model columns. In addition to the component design, students also try to on the inner design of the column. Here shows one of the design ideas that using intersecting parallels to replace the functions of the steel rebars which are normally used in the traditional column construction. Another design is to set up a diagonal braces
to work as a steel reverse. In these examples, the model columns were made entirely all at once by printing, which is different to the previous combined component model columns. In the printing process, students have uh, encountered problems like uh, the defects of the connections, the printing quality, etc. This is a good opportunity for our students to learn how to handle the conditions and improve their skills. So what's the next step after we evaluate the possibility of the 3D printing? The photo shows here is the working condition of using the pre-testing component to build a structure. The component was designed with spatial patterns and the way of the connections were considered as well. Pieces of the structural components were put together on site and no formwork was used. This is the goal we want to achieve in the near future and we expect more application will show up in the field of the construction using the 3D printing technology. Thank you very much for your attention and if you have any comments and questions, feel free to contact me with my email. Thank you.